After about a couple hours of charging, the battery icon in the top right, right here, has turned green. Since it's still plugged in, there's still a lightning bolt beside the battery. So I'm about to set up my HP touchpad. I'm just going through the HP touchpad getting started booklet. I'm setting it up for the first time, so hopefully this will be helpful for some of you out there setting this up for the first time also. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out so I can flip this over and um, orient the touchpad in the way that it shows in the instruction booklet. It's just gonna go through the parts here. Maybe I should take off the plastic here first. Uh, So first, let's look at the top side here. I don't know if you can see, there's a hole here. That is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. And then we've got the power button right here. Okay. And this up top, there's like a little dimple right there. That's a microphone right in the middle. Stereo speakers. If you see, there are these little uh, slots here with mesh, wire mesh over them. These are the speakers on the left side of the device right here and here. Here's a front facing camera right here. So if you're doing Skype, then you want to look into that. Volume is right over here on the right side, top right, where you can push up and push down. It's a touch screen itself. Center, you press this little button here to display card view. I guess we'll find out what that is. The charger USB connector. Let's turn on the device. I'm going to push the power button. You need to push it for a few seconds while it turns on. Here we go. I'm just holding it down. Waiting for something to happen. Hello? Okay. Um. Um. Letting go? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Um. I guess I just had to let go. I'm gonna push English. And I currently live in the United States. Confirm. I say yes. Okay, so it's asking me to join a Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna find my name. I'm gonna uh, type my password here. Just hit sign in. It's kind of cool whenever you touch on it, it kind of shows a little ripple effect wherever you have touched it. I'm hit sign in. Okay, so it says it's looks like it's connected. And there are a bunch of conditions and you can choose to read it or not, but you can scroll through. I accept the terms and conditions. So I'm just gonna tap it in tap in the box. Hit continue. Okay, it says that you need to create a new WebOS account. I've never used WebOS, so I believe I need to create a new account. I'm gonna tap there. So let me go ahead and tap in the first white space and start typing. To go to the next space, let's see if tab works. Here's a tab button. Oh yeah, it does go to the next uh, white space there. So um, as I'm typing this, I just wanted to point out that while typing your email, it's really neat that they have the at key here and the dot com key here. So it's really easy to enter a lot of email addresses. Okay, so I know this defeats the purpose, but after you enter your email, they say uh, confirm email in the next one. And I'm really lazy, so I like to copy and paste, which again, I know defeats the purpose. My only experience with a touch screen is with an iPod touch. So I'm just trying, I just tried to see if I could select just like with the iPod touch. So I'm double clicking on my email on the first time and on the first line where I entered it and I'm dragging over and it looks like it's highlighting 
I'm going to tap and hold and see if it gives me any options. It's giving me cut, copy, and paste. So I'm going to copy. Now I'm going to tap right here. I'm going to tap and hold and see if it gives me an option. It actually gives me a paste option. So I'm trying the same lazy thing for the password. Double tapping on the password that I entered, holding it down. I'm getting the cut, copy, and paste again. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to hold it down here in the confirm password box and hit paste. But for some reason, my password is this long and the confirm password is this long. So it's telling me that the passwords do not match. So I'm going to have to actually input those manually. So now I'm at my security question. I can hit the little arrow here and it'll give me some select some options as to what security question I want. Choose one and then enter the answer here. When you're done with entering the answer there, go ahead and scroll up and it'll get rid of the keyboard and show the options create or cancel. So just make sure everything's the way you want it and hit create, the little green button here, just tap. It looks like at any point there's a start over option in the bottom left, so if you screw up don't worry, you can always go back. Oops. Some Google terms and conditions. I accept the terms and conditions. I'll put a little check mark in the box. The second one says allow Google's location service to collect anonymous and aggregate location data. Um, what if I unclick that? I don't know. I, it's your choice. You can enable auto-locate. Let me see. Huh, this can be on or off regardless of if you allow Google's location service to collect your data. Well, I'm gonna leave it off for now because I'm a little paranoid like that. And these settings can be changed in the location services preferences later if you decide to change your mind. So, continue. It says, setup complete. Your device will restart in a moment. Okay, it's not spinning. Okay, oh. oh you can already see some fingerprints here, but that's to be expected of a touchpad. Okay, HP logo is in the middle there, glowing 